Well, a Memphis father charged with the unthinkable tonight, killing his three-year-old son. What's worse, this is not Terry Patterson's first run-in with the law. News Channel 3 has confirmed he is a convicted sex offender. Police found little Josiah Patterson dead on the living room sofa this weekend. Tonight, WREG's Michael Quander is live at 201 Poplar, where Patterson is locked up right now. Michael, what else did you find out about this guy? Well, I found out that Terry Patterson is com was convicted of statutory rape not once but twice, and he even served time behind bars. And if that's not enough, other allegations and other charges show just how violent this guy could have been. Hey, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's just really crazy. Terry Patterson's brother isn't surprised he's back in jail, but he is surprised Patterson's charged with killing his own son. I came by to try to find out, make sure it was true, you know, that it wasn't true or whatever, you know. And now I find out it is true, so. I mean. Police say Patterson murdered his son Josiah early Saturday morning at this apartment on Evergreen. What about his background? The things that he done. WREG uncovered Patterson has been in and out of jail for years. <laughs> facing everything from violent disorderly conduct to statutory rape charges. I didn't know he was a sex offender either. Court records reveal Patterson pleaded guilty to statutory rape in 2001. He served nine months behind bars and was fined $500. Now, he also confessed to another statutory rape charge back in 96, where he served another six months and paid a $500 fine. You give a kid back to him, you know their history of being violent, and you give that right back to him. Neighbors and family members are still trying to figure out why Patterson was given temporary custody with the court knowing of his violent and sexual past. It's rough. Yeah. It's still, still hard to believe that, you know, he, he's gone. Yep, now Patterson will be here in court tomorrow morning. We'll be sure to let you know what happens. Now, coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, you'll hear why the mother says that she didn't call police even though she sensed that something could be wrong with her child. You'll want to hear that story coming up, but for now, we have you covered live at the CJC tonight. I'm Michael Quander, WREG, News Channel 3. All right, thank you, Michael. There